Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we are talking about Hina Matsuri or the Hina Doll Festival. Now this is not a national holiday but it is a big celebration here in Japan and it is celebrated on the 3rd of March every year. Now one of the biggest ways this is celebrated in Japan is actually with the Hina dolls. And as you can see, there are lots of dolls and I'm just going to go through them one by one and try and explain each of them in turn. So at the very top, you've got the, the prince and the princess, also known as the Orbina for the male doll and the Mebina for the female doll. Now there'll be lots of variations with colour and what they might be wearing but you'll notice that some things are always the same such as the items they're holding. So the Mebina or the female doll will always be holding a folded fan that is completely open and showing some kind of lucky design. And the man is holding something called a shaku which I don't think there is an English word for and it is basically a, a rolled or specially folded scroll. And as you can see, underneath the prince and princess, there are lots of other dolls and decorations. Now I won't be going through all of these because sometimes there are hundreds, but I'll go through the main ones that are most commonly seen. So on the next level, on the, the second tier, you will find the Sanin Kanjo, or the three women of the court. So these are ladies that would be in the imperial court. And normally the ones on the outer edges are standing and oftentimes the doll in the middle is kneeling or seated and they'll be preparing something for the, the prince and the princess. Next down, you can see the Gonin Bayashi, which are five musicians you'll often see them playing string instruments or a drum but yeah they'll be on the third level the the musicians next up there are just two dolls and they are called the daijin not always but quite often one of these will be quite elderly and one of them will be a little bit younger they might also have some kind of weapons on them such as a bow and arrow or they might just be very wise advisors now the fifth tier is probably my favorite you got three dolls here and they're all really enjoying the party the hina matsuri and one of them is called the naki jogo which means the crying drunk uh, in the middle you'll have the okori jogo or the angry drunk and last up you got the warai jogo which is the laughing drunk and underneath this you can see there are lots and lots of items as well that are to do with luck, hard work and serving the prince and princess inside the court. But I won't go into those today because there are many of them. So all of these items together is called a Hina Kazari or the Hina full set, I guess, the complete collection. Um, I don't have that at my house. I've got a nice simple set of just two dolls. And normally if you have a daughter, you will have one of these sets in your house. So as you can see, the set that I have is much more simple. There are just the two dolls, but there are some clues to some of the other tiers. For example, you can see the musical instruments. We've got a koto and I think a biwa as well. Maybe that is connected to the gonin bayashi. And sometimes on these sets, you might see trays of colourful mochi or the, the pounded rice cake uh, and other items that relate to the larger set. But as you can see, my set is not so extravagant. It's quite simple, but you know, it fits our tiny little house and small family very, very well. Another great aspect of Hina Matsuri is all of the bright and colourful foods which you can enjoy. Perhaps the most famous is a sushi bowl known as chirashi sushi and you'll have the the seasoned sushi rice underneath and on top you'll have lots of bright colorful toppings such as ebi or shrimp um, egg 
Maybe you might even have some other kind of sashimi like maguro, tuna or ikura, which is the salmon roe. And all of these colours are connected to Hina Matsuri, the, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, all of these bright colours. For dessert, you might get some hishimochi, and mochi is the, the pounded rice cakes. Very delicious, very, very sweet. And there are other seasonal mochi, which is around at this time anyway, like sakura mochi, which is made with the, the cherry blossom flavour and wrapped in a salty leaf, one of my favourites. And ichigo daifuku, which is normally a whole strawberry wrapped around in the pounded rice. Very, very delicious. You can also find drinks at this time of year, and the most famous is probably amazake, and amazake is the sweet rice wine. It's normally quite cloudy. Sometimes it might even have kind of chunks or lumps of rice in. So it is an acquired taste. I quite like it, but many people find it a little bit difficult to drink. So there you have it. Hina Matsuri is celebrated on the 3rd of March with some bright, colorful dolls and equally bright and colorful foods. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you very, very soon for the next Japanese holiday.